<sighs> hey guys, just got home from a long weekend from the birthday parties. I had two birthday parties to go to and they both were a success and you will see them before you see this video. Here is a little small grocery haul, what I have to make because me and Pink Fairy decided to give each other two, one thing a piece that we had to make a challenge. Um, so I'm going to show you the thing that I have to get. I'm supposed to be making a pumpkin roll. I've never made a pumpkin roll, so if it turns out horrible, oh, I'm so sorry. I had to buy the parchment paper, the baking soda, the cream cheese, the 100% pumpkin. I'm not sure if it was pumpkin puree I was supposed to get or pumpkin, but I got the pumpkin. If it turns out crazy, oh, I'm so sorry too. I had to buy some salt, and I did some the vanilla, um, and then I had to buy me a, another pan, so, but I tried to find, I tried to find me a rubber, um, mat to cook the thing on, but I didn't find one, so we're going to have to rig something up to roll the pumpkin, on, the pumpkin roll on, so... Hopefully, we can figure that out. Oh, we got one more thing. I have a couple more things. Just hold on. I had to get some uh, sugar, some flour, and some powdered sugar. So, that was the extras I had to get. So, hopefully, I can make this. And also, it calls with cinnamon. And I already have cinnamon, so... But this will be put out very soon. And if it doesn't turn out right... Please forgive me. Hopefully, I can get me a uh, non-stick um, uh, mat to cook on before. But if I can't, I'm going to rig something up so I can make it. I could probably do, like, parchment paper on the bottom. And then I'll do... Uh, and let me let it come out and let it cool just a bit. Then take some parchment paper and put it on the top and then roll it on the rolling pin. And then maybe I'll let it cool in the, you know, just let it naturally cool. And then take it and roll it back out and put the, the um, butter and buttercream on it. Also have butter around here somewhere too. Here it is. I forgot to show y'all the butter too. The unsalted butter. Yeah, so we got that too. Anyway, this stuff, just that, was about $30. Yeah. Although he got a game, so I don't know about how much that was. So, it was something like that. But, that pumpkin roll better be good, because I could have went to the store and just bought me one, guys, for like... Four dollars, but I'm gonna try my hand at making one to see if it's any better. Y'all see my eyes getting better. This right here is psoriasis, but it's getting better. It's still got the little knot on it. Y'all are healing me every day if you're praying for me. Okay, see y'all later when I make it. Hi guys, we're gonna make the pumpkin roll. Okay, this is my big blue bowl. It's all my measuring cups. La la. Ugh. So now we're going to do the wet ingredients first. We have a problem though, Houston. Okay, you need two thirds of pumpkin. I'm guessing it's pumpkin, not pumpkin puree. I don't know. But I got the two-thirds right here. Let me put it in the bowl. Now we have to add three large eggs to the mix. Three large eggs. Now let's mix the wet ingredients together. Woohoo! Three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour self-rising plop that in there Put that in there 
two teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, cup of confectioner sugar. fourths of the vanilla. I'm just eyeballing. I don't really know. A little extra, a little bit more, whatever. Here we go. We're going to mix, mix, mix. And now we're going to take our batter, which looks like this. It smells wonderful and pour it in our greased parchment paper pan. Here we go. Here it is in the pan. Get ready to go in the oven at preheated at 375 for about until it's spongy. You got to keep an eye on it because it's kind of thin. I got this recipe from Pinterest so if it don't work out Let's blame Pinterest, please. <laughs> Alright, guys. Here's the pumpkin roll that came out. Now I gotta do more. I gotta roll. Now, the pumpkin roll is still hot. It's like spongy filling, so it's supposed to be like that. <clears throat> so... I was told, hold on, to put some confection sugar on a towel. Uh, this towel, hopefully it's long enough, it'll fit. It is, thank you Jesus. You take this confection sugar, I don't have a rubber mat because I couldn't find one in Walmart. They didn't have none. So take you a little sugar, confectioner sugar. I did have a trial and error. You're supposed to have sugar in the uh, batter. Well, I didn't. I put this in the batter. Hopefully, it'll be okay, though. First time to make this. It was a challenge by Pink Fairy and I. She is supposed to make an apple so hopefully she could do that I know she can she can do it all right let me show y'all guys this the powdered sugar towel to put on there so the cake will let loose from the towel it won't get stuck now you take your towel, you're supposed to flip it over on top of the cake. I don't have all the tools to do this. Okay. Okay. You're supposed to take it and you're supposed to roll it. That I know of. Roll. Roll. Okay. Now, we didn't rolled it. Now we put it in the refrigerator for an hour or till cool. Okay, you gotta wait an hour or until cool. And then you, you gotta prepare your buttercream. Here we go. Okay, I did not show you this, but you have one eight ounce block of cream cheese and two sticks of unsalted butter and a cup of confectioner sugar to mix together until it's nice and creamy. The butter should be room temperature. Bear with me. 
with me. I got this recipe on Pinterest and I did do an error. I rolled it the wrong way, so I'm gonna have a very thick pumpkin roll. But this isn't supposed to be perfect because I said I didn't know how to make it in the first place. But I was up for the chance. Scrape the bowl down. Scrape the bowl down. Get all that sugar incorporated. I'm going to taste it to make sure it's sweet enough. There we go. I've never made my own buttercream either, so first time for this. Y'all hear all that noise I'm making? we go guys if you're a child please or parent you know get help your child do this we mix around We'll be back when I put the buttercream on the actual pumpkin roll itself. I don't have a cameraman, so here we go. Might be a little muffled. <coughs> Alright, I'm not talking to you, honey. Cream cheese frosting. I'm going to use this. It doesn't matter. Something. All right. Roll it back out. I did a no-no. So I probably should... I don't know. Guys, a little technical difficulty here. There. We flipped it without a, any problems. Okay. I'm going to shape it up here a little bit. The knife. Cut off the little edges. My husband loves pumpkin roll. So, that's why I'm trying it out. Alright, let's put our buttercream frosting on here. Nice and cold. Which means it's nice and sticky. 
I already tasted it. It was really good. Plop this stuff on here. Is cracking a little bit. But that's okay. Doesn't look the most beautiful. <laughs> See, if we can't scrape some more cream cheese. Put it on the edges here. I'm not a home chef. It is definitely cracking on me. So, I'm going to take it and roll it back in the parchment paper and let it put together itself. It definitely cracked, so I don't know what I did wrong, but I tried. But anyway, I'll let you guys see the end results once it cools, well, puts in the refrigerator for a little while and stuff like that. Bye. Here's the pumpkin roll cut. Here's the pumpkin roll that was, you know, it did crack a little bit, but I did good for my first try. It's pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.